Hi everybody, it's the Brooklyn Born Tarot back at you. How are you guys today? I'm so grateful you're with me. I'm doing the readings now for August. I had them all done and then I had to delete everything because Spirit, you know, wants me to do something else. And what he wants me to do is address the situation on this YouTube al algorithm thing. Now look, you people will come, the, the, whole, the whole collective of you, because you enjoy the tower, whether you believe in divination or you just get your, you know, your jollies, all right? Whatever it is, it's just for entertainment purposes, right? You come on the videos, nobody hits like or dislike. Now, I've seen some of the best channelers and the best readers that I've been watching for years. They're up to begging and bartering with you people. Oh, I'm not going to continue on to the next sign if I don't get this many likes. And all. I'm not going to beg and barter with you, okay? I'm, oh, my nose is itching. All right, spirit, I got that. I'm not going to beg and barter with you. What I'm going to tell you is this. You come and you sit at these readings. I hope you know your sun, moon, rising, and Venus at the very least in your north node. So that, you know, you could be in any sign at any time, all right? And nobody's hitting. I mean, I see 110,000 subscribers and 100 likes. I personally am not going to beg and barter with you, okay? But I will tell you this. If you like the video, your thumb is right there. Well, every time I ever signed on to a video to watch, before they even started speaking words out of their mouth, I hit the like button. Why do I hit the like button? I don't even know if I like it yet. I'll tell you why. Because I'm kind and courteous and manly, and it's a nice way of saying thank you. But beyond that, I'm trying to put my positive energy in there so the reader can pick up on it. You know, the energy is very dense out here. There are a lot of yous. I don't know if you're getting that. So if you're not putting some energy in there, and I prefer to put positive energy out with the like, then, you know, maybe you're not resonating with the sign. Or, or, you know, you just, it's not the right thing to do. We weren't raised in caves, right? You were raised with manners, right? If, you know, contradictory, if you don't like it, personally me, I don't care if I'm the most hated tarot, you, you know, person on YouTube. You know, that's a goal too. Then hit the dislike. That's a way of telling me I don't like your video and go out, you know, go burn in hell or something. I don't know. But hit the like and dislike. I promise you, like right now when I'm talking, if you hit the like and dislike, your thumb's not going to know what you're doing. There's nothing on this side of YouTube to show you who's hitting the like and dislike, okay? Nothing. So you're not going to stand out in the crowd. Nobody's going to know. If you don't like it, hit the dislike. If you like it, hit the like, okay? Do it. It's a nice thing to do. Just like, you, you know... If you walk through, let's say, a, a supermarket thing and, the, and a little old lady's coming, you hold the door open for her and then you may be five, five dollars. Or you could be a smart ass like me and give somebody the finger and then the next thing I know, I was hitting a nail and I, I hit my finger. I got a big black nail under, under there. So there's that. The other thing that I really, I, it's, it's, it's busted my chops, I got to say this, is that Tarot is divination, okay? It's to bring you closer to God and spirit, all right? And it's not to be used as terror tactics. So anybody that you're watching and that's telling you some kind of contrived story about, you know, witches and covens and all this, yeah, there are people out there that think they're doing black magic. They might be lighting candles. Who the hell knows what they're doing? But God doesn't, God sees that. That's not, you know, just, all you guys say is return to sender. There's no covens of witches and hedge witches and all this shit that I'm listening to, you know, in the woods with pentagrams doing all kinds of crap to you. That's crazy. If you're worried about it, you just, you know, you ask God for protection, you know, you return to sender, which is a good old thing to say, because if somebody's sending you love, then guess what? You're sending it back. And if someone's sending you negativity, you're sending it back. If you really want to get crazy, you know, go get some Morton salt and draw a line around your house on the outside or in front of your door. So then they, they, no negative energy can get in. That's it. Burn a little sage. So we got sage and a lot of sage in the house. That's all you got to do. There's no witches and covens. There's no devils and warlocks. Nothing like this, okay? So don't let people use terror tactics to draw you in. Lastly, if you can't see people shuffling right in your face, and I mean in your face, all right, like that, all right? Well, you could see the shuffling, which that wasn't a good one, but you know what I'm saying, all right? Well, you could see the shuffling, and then you could see the cards flying out in front of your face, and they've already got the cards laid out, or you can't see them pulling the cards, then it's a bunch of bullshit. I know when I see those videos, right away I think something's for gazy. And it is. Then comes the tarot tactics. If you can read tarot, well, there's no reason not to show you right in your face the card shuffling and the cards flying out so you people know that it's 150 legit and there's no bullshit flying around, all right? So I really got to get out, that out there. And now that that's out there, let us begin. And thank you for listening to my rant. Please, while I'm talking, the like, the dislike, something, okay? Thank you for being here. I am truly grateful to have you. Please hit the subscribe, like, dislike, share buttons, notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And it is really greatly appreciated, all right? Don't be a gavon.
in any area of life. So that means, you know, sharing is caring. So I encourage you to take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else. My God, there are a lot of you out there and this energy is dense, all right? Time is linear. These readings are timeless. When you come across it is when you're meant to see it. All right, so here we go. So with an attitude of gratitude, I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to deliver clear and concise messages for the sign of Sagittarius from August 8th, the Lion's Gate, through the 15th, 2022, or whatever they come across it. Hi, Sag. How are you guys? I hope everything's well, and I love you. And thank you for listening to all that. So, yeah. All right. So, now, usually, you know, I know you people, if you're watching this, you know, you've got to do at least three sus shuffles. It's a, you know, it's the Holy Trinity, and it's a trifecta. So, one, right in your face, like it should be. I'm not hiding anything over here, all right? I really read and channel. I'm not playing games. I'm not trying to use your Gaston Christian terror tactics to get you over here. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like that. I'm not going to beg and barter. I'll tell you that. Nah, we don't do that. I'm over here trying to help people, not, you know, I don't have to beg to help you, all right? If you don't want my help, keep it moving. I'll get there. The spirit will bring me right where they want me to be. So now you got an ace of pentacles, all right? This is how you're starting out. This is your energy. This is the Celtic cross, only I don't lay it out that way. This is earth energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, this is a new beginning, all right? You're being challenged. Now, all challenges aren't bad. Sometimes you got good challenges. Sometimes you got bad challenges. It depends on spirit, spirit's mood, right? You're being challenged with the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles is investing effort. So you're being challenged to invest effort into something. And because it both came out pentacles, Sag, I would say maybe it's securing that bag, all right? So, you know, let's see what else. Above you. Above you. Show me above Sagittarius, please. For the collective, for the higher good. I got this little, I got my little dog on my lap. She's shaking to death because there's a thunderstorm. I'll show it to you at the end of the video. Above you is the five of wands. Wands is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this five, guess what? It's conflict. So you had, you know, you maybe have some conflict around you right now. But this is a Leo card and there's conflict. Below you, underlining the situation, is the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles again. Again with the Pentacles. Earth Energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This three is apprenticeship. So either you you had just learned how to do something new, whether it's a new way of making money, or you had to teach somebody, but this is apprenticeship. This is learning how to do something new, okay? And everybody has to start somewhere, so yeah, there's that. Now, show me what's coming into the near future, please. Show me what's coming into the near future. Well, that one looked like I wanted to, but it didn't go nowhere. So I'm not going to say, you know, if it doesn't come out, I'm not doing it. I'm not trying to terrorize people. I've never seen anything like this. My God, the things that I've seen on YouTube in the last couple of weeks. Five of Cups is coming into your near future. Cups is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this is loss and sadness. So, you know, I don't know what you're going to be feeling lost or sad over or what you think was lost, but I can tell you this. This one is so busy sitting down looking at these cups that spilled over that were probably warm from the sun and nobody wanted to drink from anyway, that if she just, you know, pick her head up and turn around, there's a whole party on the table over here. You got some fresh drinks, a lobster, a little pet to play with, and, you know, some nice balloons, and it's a beautiful day. So don't, you know, I understand that loss and hardship is hard, but try to vibrate higher and get out of it. Don't stay down there, you know, and stay there. Don't do that. Put everything in its place and, you know... You know, what's gone is gone. If, if spirit moves something out of your life for a reason, believe me, it was for a better reason. Sometimes you think there's things there. You know, I know in my life there's been plenty of things I've wanted and thought, oh my God, why didn't I have it or why couldn't it work out that way? And in the end, it was the best thing that ever happened to me, all right? Now you got the Ten of Wands. I don't like this card. This is burdens, all right? This is fire energy again. So, hmm. What I say about this card is, look, this one's carrying all these brooms up the thing over here. Drop them. You only need one anyway. There's plenty of time in life, people, I'm telling you, to pick up burdens. Sag, you, there's burdens every day that you can pick up. So don't carry somebody else's, right? Nobody, not one person needs all these brooms. So make sure you only have your own burdens. Don't be taking on, I'm hearing spirits, so don't be taking on anybody else's burdens. You don't need them, okay? Take your own broom and give everybody else theirs. Why do you got to schlep up the hill with all these things? No, don't do it. You're nobody's, uh, you know, yeah, no. My own. Let's go. Show me. This is the way you're perceiving this, by the way. All right? This is what's coming in, and this is like your third eye. In the back of your mind, you're full of burdens. You got burdens everywhere. Right? In your environment here. Show me the environment. 
That's what's around you. It's easy to flip right in your face. It's the Ace of Cups. This is, again, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and this is joy and inner peace. So there is joy and inner peace in your environment. Maybe if you dropped all these burdens that probably nine of them belong to everybody else, right? And you just take your own little broom. You and your cat can sit on your broom happy and go, you know, what the hell you got to carry everybody else's brooms for? Let them go sweep their own freaking floors, huh? Jesus Christ. Show me. Your advice from spirit. Yeah, drop the brooms. I bet. Let me see. I got to see this. Sagittarius got a lot of fire in my chart. I love fire. I'm telling you. Yeah. You guys got really big hearts, you Sagittarius. I know this. But don't let anybody use you like this. Don't do it. Right? Don't do it. I'm going to tell you, and I said this in a couple of videos already today. Marilyn Manson says something. You want to know who's with you? Sink the ship. You sink the ship, the first people to jump off, they weren't your friends anyway. So drop the brooms. Yeah, and see if anybody comes over to help you and pick them up and, and carry them with you. Those are your friends. The ones that leave them there, leave, they leave them there. All right, here we got three cards. I'm not taking that because I just need one for advice from spirit. Come on, give it to us. Maybe if I stop talking a little. I just, I tell you, my, my balls have been twisted with this YouTube thing. Nobody even has the decency to hit a button. And then on top of it, you got these readers that want to terrify you with their contrived stories and whatnot. And nobody's showing you the cards. I mean, who, who, who does? I don't like that. If I look on a reader and I don't see what's going on with the cards, they're laid out and there's things going on down here that I can't see. No, no. You could read, put them out in front of me, right in my face. That Brooklyn style, yeah? Wow. And, I'm, you know, I'm going to say that on behalf of the entire tarot community, like I said, okay? Even though it's very, very competitive, I'm not competing, okay? I'm, I'm a light worker. So, on behalf of everybody that reads, your favorite reads, all the reads, just hit a button. Like, dislike it, doesn't matter. Trust me. But it matters to the readers, okay? It really does. Nine of Pentacles, success. <coughs> your advice for spirit is to be successful. Successful at dropping these brooms, I'm going to tell you. Because why? It's going to bring you joy and inner peace, okay? And stop stop feeling lost in sadness, all right? Everybody, you know, experiences loss in their life, okay? Everybody experiences sadness, but don't stay there. Don't, don't, don't make it a burden. Don't turn this loss and sadness into a burden, okay? When you could have joy and inner peace. And you could be successful at whatever it is over here. And judging from this, it's probably securing the bag. Because you've got pentacles, pentacles, pentacles all over the place, right? And then again, pentacles. So, you know, money is a big thing nowadays. Everything is so expensive. You know, don't carry everybody else's shit. Maybe if you're at work, I'm hearing over here, and somebody, they're throwing the extra work on you while somebody's off. Go for, no, go take the work that belongs to the other person and give it back to them. Why? And you know, don't do it for them. Don't do it for them. And that's in any area of life. Now, the most likely final outcome, and I will tell you this. My cards are always upright, so if it comes out in reverse, it's meant to. I always make sure that all the cards are upright in the beginning of the reading. So that if spirit spits one out at me, that's in reverse. Believe me when I tell you it's meant to be. Because a lot of people don't read reversals, but you really should. If they come in reverse, spirit's trying to tell you something. So what you got in reverse right here is the queen of swords. Swords is there. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is, you know, she's smart, organized, efficient, logical, creative, a problem solver, a good listener. But she's in reverse. So what is she? She's unorganized. She's inefficient. She's ignorant, right? She's not being logical. She's not being creative. And she certainly isn't solving any problems. So we've got to clarify that. But we don't want you like that, right? Now, I will show you what your recent past was. But I refuse, refuse to clarify the past. Because guess what? We don't drive looking through the, the rearview mirror. You're supposed to drive looking through the windshields, all right? The rearview mirror is smaller for a reason. The past is in the past. There's nothing you can do about it, all right? You can take your lessons from it and do better in the future. That's all you could do. What you should really be doing is staying mindful and present in the moment you're in because that's, in reality, all anybody has, ever has, right? And then one day you'll look back and you'll have lived your best life, all right? Now let's go. That one flew out. So there was a lot. Okay, seven of cups. Cups is uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is water. And this was there was a lot of options, all right? There was a lot of options. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you got the four of cups. Mink yards. What is it? Nostalgia and stagnancy. Why? Why again? Listen, people. What do I keep telling you about this card? This is like the five of cups. The four of cups lost its, you know. This stagnancy and this heat is going to give you swamp ass. You're sitting there so busy looking at the lost cups, right, that you don't see. Look at this nice fresh cup. This probably got flies in it. They've probably been sitting there for three days. Look how beautiful it is out. You know, you, you're wasting your whole life in this situation. Just accept what is 
and grab this nice fresh drink and go outside and, you know, alleviate yourself of some burdens, all right? Don't, don't alleviate these things. All right, now look. Let's clarify. Spirit and Ascended Masters, Ancestors, you know, the whole gangster squad of you up there, please help me to deliver clear and concise clarifications for Sagittarius for the collective's higher good, okay? For the higher good. Not to terrorize them. My God, mink yachts. For August 8th, which is the Lion's Gate, to the 15th, 2022, or whenever we come across it. All right, this should be the, this should be the trifecta here on the, right, three times. Holy Trinity, the trifecta, that's how that goes. Divination, you know. That's why you, that's why you shuffle three times. It's the Holy Trinity, just in case you didn't know. Here, yeah, show me the Ace of Pentacles. Not about, you know. Oh, my God. Listen, I'm not saying there aren't crazy people out there that think they're doing spells and whatnot. But believe me when I tell you God sees everything, it's going right back to them. Trust me. Especially if you're a good person and you're not, you know, you never wish anybody any bad. Don't do it. Because it goes around the mountain, comes around the mountain. God will take care of it. Spirit's got it. Trust me. They might not even, these dumb son of a bitches might not even know that they're getting punished for it. Okay, so now you got the Leo card, Strength. So it's, you know, it's coming in on the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new beginning. You're going to have to be strong. All right? You're going to have to be strong to do this new beginning. Or you're going through this right now. Right now, you you have to exhibit some strength, Sag, for this new beginning that you're going through. If you're in this energy, according to your timeline, okay? Then you got the Four of Pentacles. So you're going to be holding on tightly to this new beginning. Pentacles, again, again with the Pentacles, is, you know, usually, you know, abundance. We like to say money. I always like to say money. But it could be abundance in any form, right? Doesn't always have to be financial wealth. It could be material wealth. It could be good health if you were sick. It could be something as small as that. You're going to have to take a new leap of faith. Or you are taking a new leap of faith. Or you're just about to take a new leap of faith. Or you already took this leap of faith. And you had to be strong to do it. All right? And now you're holding on tightly. Why are you holding on tightly? Because, yeah, you had to, you had to do this. This is you. Nobody else has to do this. Tell you what you shouldn't be holding on tightly to is all these freaking brooms. Let somebody else have them. All right. Now you got the six of swords. Swords, again, is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This six is sorrow in transition. This is an Aries card. So, you know, again, you're feeling a little sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. If it, don't stay there, though. Don't stay there. Vibrate higher. Show me. One... Two. Come on. Two more. One more. I need a trifecta here. Give me. Thank you. Okay, flip. We take flippers, even though they don't fall out. Because if they flip, that's it. You see them. So now you got the two of wands. This two of wands is inspiration. So I'm inspiring. Spirit's inspiring you. You're being challenged. You know, to stay strong, take this leap of faith, drop these burdens, and come out of this mocus mocus energy over here. Now you're coming into your own reading, Sag. Look at this. Temperance. The temperance card is Sagittarius. You're going to have to temper your emotions, bite your tongue, turn your cheek. You know, don't engage. Just woosa. All right? That's what spirits tell you they want you to do. Don't, you know, you can't be to fight with somebody if only one person's fighting. Let them go look in the mirror and fight with themselves. All right? Why even take your energy and focus it that way? Don't even bother. Ignore them. It'll kill them. Yeah, look, I got the holy trifecta all in one shot here. Oh, my own and me. Look at this. Oh, my God. I'm so happy for you guys. All right. So, first of all, you got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, right here with this Five of Wands, this this Leo conflict card, there's not going to be a new beginning. So, but, but the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. And guess what? Now you got the Ten of Pentacles. So, this is like going towards abundance of some sort. Probably money, securing the bag, because you've got pentacles written all over this. But it could be whatever an abundance is in your life. Maybe you got money already and you're sick, so maybe you're going to get good health. Maybe, you know, you want children, you haven't been able to have them, now you're going to have children. Abundance, okay? So, you got a, a wheel of fortune turning towards your ten of pentacles, Sag. So, that's telling me, not only are you going to be securing the bag, maybe you're going to be securing a few of them. God bless you. Don't tell anybody what you have. Don't do it. Don't act like all of a sudden you got money if you're getting it. Because some of you are getting it. Because then you get this. You get the hands out, right? Everybody needs help. And nobody pays back. So don't act. Don't go buy new cars. Don't show anybody. Wear the same clothes. Act as broke as you've always been. Okay? Show me this three of pentacles. This apprenticeship. That's below you. You had to learn how to do something new. Maybe how to handle all this money, huh? <laughs> I bet. What's this three of pentacles? Show me. Show me, show me, show me. Okay, so now we have... What do we got? We got the five of wands. Okay, so again, the conflict with the Leo. What the hell? I don't understand. Again, the five of wands conflict. 
So whatever it was that you were learning how to do differently in your life, and that could be anything, or teaching somebody else how to do differently, you know, there was conflict involved in it because it's below you. It brought in some conflict. Maybe people, maybe you just, maybe it could be something as simple as showing people how you wanted to be treated, you know? Putting your foot down. Not taking nobody's shit no more. I don't know. You, you apply it. But it brought in conflict. And loss and sadness and burdens, you know, me. I don't, I tell you. Show me. And I don't mean to sound abrasive, by the way. I do come from Brooklyn, New York, and this is the way we talk. I'm sorry. I'm the nicest person in the world, but I will tell you, got a lot of fire in my truck, as it is, just the way it is. Now you got a queen of wands, okay? Wands is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the stern queen, right? Didn't we just have her a little while ago? Am I, am I hallucinating because I'm talking too much? All right. Well, it doesn't matter. Look, the queen of wands, you know, like I said, fire energy. This queen is stern, organized, no nonsense, unemotional, assertive. She's head over heart. She just as soon stick a fork in your head, even though there's not a queen on this particular picture, as serve you dinner if you bust her balls. So just be nice to people, you know. That's it. That looks like the queen and king on that card, you know. Show me. Show me coming into the near future for Sagittarius. Let's go. Show me. Okay, you got this, what? Nine, okay, so nine of pentacles is success. So you're gonna be successful at coming out of this loss and hardship here. This, you know, mocus energy that's coming in. It's not gonna let, you know, you're gonna be successful at it. You're gonna get out of it. Probably after all the screaming at you that I did, right? But that's what I'm here for. Okay, so now you got the two of swords in reverse. Two of swords upright is denial. So you're out of denial. You're looking at something through a clear lens. There's no rose-tinted glasses there. Now you got the king of pentacles, okay? This king is Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. He's the businessman, stable, the CEO of his own company, patient, hardworking, responsible, organized, abundant, problem solver, well-prepared, all right? So that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. That means that, you know, again, this looks like this looks like it's being all geared towards money, Sag. You know, you know, the planets are, a lot of the planets are in retrograde. Everything's all mixed up. Maybe, you know, you're coming into your time right now to secure that bag. Or several of them. <laughs> That's what I'm wishing for you. Several bags, right? All right. Show me this. Uh, what do we got here? Ten of Wands. Show me the Ten of Wands, please, and thank you. Sag's perspective of this in their mind's eye. What are they What are they seeing? What are they thinking in the back of their head? Oh, Lily, now you're going to start crying because of the thunder, too. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm in the animal kingdom over here. I got the, this little one on my lap. I got the cat crying. The other dog's on the floor, you know, shaking over here. I can't fit two dogs on my lap and do this at the same time. I'm already like rubber man with the arms because, yeah. Come on, give me. Oh, the high priestess. That's good. Okay, so the high priestess, this is the keeper of the veil, right? She knows all the secrets. Maybe some of you are into tarot or esoteric or metaphysical, you know. But this is somebody who knows all the secrets, all right? So you got all the answers inside of you, all right? And the answers are to drop everybody else's brooms. I'm telling you, don't let, yeah, my God. Okay, so now you got the six of pentacles. Pentacles, again, this is, you know, finances, this is money. The six is stability. But now it's upside down, so you're feeling unstable. But you shouldn't if you just go inside yourself. You got your own answers. You got this high priestess card, yeah? Okay, you know the answers inside. So you got to go out and ground with nature or sit with, like I am and, you know, Dr. Doolittle over here with all these animals. Then that's what you got to do. Take a salt bath. You know, I just got out of mine. Whatever it is. Go buy some water. See the water? You hear the water? Listen. Got the water thing. That's always very soothing and very helpful. Do we have the trifecta yet? No, no. We need one more for the Holy Trinity. Come on. Give it to me. Thank you. Okay, so now you got the uh, Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, again, is water. And the Six is nostalgic. Again, with this nostalgic. Boy, I want to boot you in, my, in your ass myself. I really do. I really do. Stop with the nostalgic. You know, just stop. You're being nostalgic. Why are you being nostalgic? You know, you're having memories of the past. I hope they're at least good memories. All right? Don't be sitting crying over spilled milk. Don't do it. It's done. Spirit removes people from your life. You know, it's for a reason. Maybe you you have a better road to go and that they're not allowed to go on that road with you. You know what I'm saying? Really. Everybody has their own path. You can't bring everybody with you all the time, right? People are like trees. Some of them are like leaves. They come for a season and they're out, right? Or even situations. So some of them are like branches and then you got, you know, 
the sturdy limbs that are with you, and then the, you know, the trunk and the roots. So not everybody's a trunk and a root. Uh, you know, mostly leaves. That come for a season or a reason. Show me this Ace of Cups. What's going on here with joy or in a peace? It's in your, it's in your environment, this joy and in a peace. Maybe you're just not choosing to look at it, you know? Show me. Okay, so we got the three of wands. This is crossroads. So you're gonna, you know, you're at crossroads. In your environment is crossroads. So in other words, in your environment, you have options. You know, so figure them out. Maybe you're just not seeing them. Use your head. Show me this three of wands. Show me this uh, crossroads here. Come on, give it to me. Give me the information. It's not, you know, confidential over here. This isn't, you know, a big government conspiracy. Or terror tactics, right? My God, did that aggravate me. Okay, here we go. Deta uh, oh, seven. Oh, good, that's good. So seven of cups is options, all right? What did I just tell you? You have options. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. There are options, you know, at these courts. So figure out which ones are the best for you. And for you, not for anybody else. This is your life path. Nobody else's. Can't please everybody, right? You're not baking. Yeah, let me see. Give me. So you got the two of pentacles. My God, there's, there's just finances written all over this. This is um, weighing your options. I'm sorry, wait, my hair. Weighing your options in need of balance. So yeah, you're going to be needed to weigh your options at these crossroads that you're, you know, you need a balance because you got too many options. You don't know which way to go, right? But you do have this Ace of Cups, so there will be joy and inner peace. This is clarifying the Ace of Cups. Then success. All right, again with the Nine of Pentacles. Now we got success. Can you see the cards? Good, good. All right. Show me this Nine of Pentacles. Show me the success, please. Show me. All right, the first card that flipped is the hangman. Okay, so, you know, you might have to take a time out. People, a lot of readers say, oh, you know, this is like a punishment. You get put in a tree upside down, you know, by, by source or by spirit to take a time out and weigh your options. And sometimes you put yourself in this tree, right? Sometimes you just want to take a time out from people. But whatever it is, okay, you need to take this time out and concentrate and pause and weigh your options and see what's best for you. What is best for Sagittarius? What's going to make Sagittarius the happiest, the healthiest, the most abundant, right? And a better person. Show me this hanging man. Show me. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Thank you. Okay. So you got the Hierophant. This could involve some legal issues. Oh, and the chariot. All right. So here, let me put this down a minute. So the Hierophant. This is traditionalism. This is the court system. This is, you know, school. This is uh, anything with rules and regulations, marriage, divorce, you know, anything by the book. All right. So there could be that situation. Maybe you're thinking about getting a divorce. Maybe you're thinking about getting married. All right. Maybe you got a lawsuit going. Maybe you're going to school. You're thinking what you're going to take. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's the chariot. It's the fastest card. It's going to happen fast. Fast, fast, fast. So... That's a good thing, right? Nobody needs to be in stagnancy. Now, you got this Queen of Swords in reverse over here. What is she doing? What's going on with this one? Show me. What's going on over here with this one? Show me. Please and thank you. One more. We need a trifecta here. Okay, we got a flipper. Excellent. Oh, my own and me. All right, so there could be a Capricorn involved in this, right? Because that's the Devil card. The Devil card is any toxic behaviors, anything that is toxic, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, right? Or, you know oversleeping, overeating. I mean, it could be anything. Overworking. It also could be toxic people in your environment looking to entice you with toxicity. So whatever it is, or there could be somebody with, you know, Capricorn highly aspected in their chart or a Capricorn involved in this. So be careful with that. You, you don't want the devil around. Now you got the, uh, what is this? The Nine of Cups again. The Nine of Cups is success. So you're going to be successful at kicking whatever toxicity this is in your life and only you know, to the curb, okay? Over here, what's going to happen is then you got the two of cups, so there's going to be an offer of emotions coming in, all right? And it doesn't have to be love. You know, there's a heart there, and they're kissing. It could be any emotions. It could be a new friend you're making, right? Who knows? On the bottom of the deck here, you got the uh, seven of wands. I can't read these Roman numeral numerals. The seven of wands is standing your ground. So, yes, yeah, stand your ground. Do that. Now, let's see. What else are we doing here? Let's do the kippers first. What does Kipper have to say for Sag over here? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me, Kipper. Put your two cents into this one, please. 
I feel like I'm going on like a tyrant. I'm telling you, the last couple days of these videos, who's begging and bartering for likes? No. Do the right thing. You know. It's called manners. Plus, you're putting your energy in. Show me. Sorry, I just scared the bejesus out of poor little Delilah. I'll show you after we're done how cute she is. She doesn't know she's got a voice. She's the only ch chihuahua in the world that doesn't speak. Okay? Expectation. So, some of you probably have some expectations about something, or somebody has an expectation. And you got 28, and 8 and 2 is 10. So, 28 or 10. What else you got, Kip? Show me, Kipper. Please and thank you. All right, come on, ancestors. Give them to me, please. What do we got to give? A kick in the ass over here. Kick source. <laughs> no kick source. Kick spirit in the ass. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, great. Terrific. Distant horizon. So maybe some of you are expecting to travel, but there's a distant horizon on the future for somebody. Okay? Somebody can take it in a boat. Maybe, you know, maybe you're going hot air ballooning. I doubt it, though. But an airplane, you know, it looks like they're traveling over the ocean. So a distant horizon is in somebody's future. And you got 36 and 3 and 6 is 9. Show me. Show me, Kip. So maybe you're expecting to take a trip. Some of you are expecting to take a trip. Or maybe somebody from distant horizon is coming to see you. Yeah, look at this. Well, some of you are definitely taking a trip. Because look at this. Expectation, distant horizon, and journey. So if that doesn't, I mean, even a tower read, somebody who doesn't read tower could understand that. You're expecting to go to a distant horizons on a journey. Maybe some of you are going to be going on vacation. It is the summer. Maybe some of you are going to be moving, although I don't see that card. But whatever it is, some, some of you are going on a journey. The number 10 could be significant. Also, you know, I've been noticing lately, and I don't know why the initials here. There's a C, there's an M, there's an FW Baker. Maybe somebody's coming to see you, right? There's some, you know, it looks like a very nice trip. I mean, I, I would prefer to be up in this thing, but, you know, that looks like a very comfortable train. The anchor is beautiful. So, yeah, go on the trip. Relax. Enjoy yourself. Drop those burdens. Take the time out. Like the hangman. Show me. Great fortune. Well, maybe if some of you are expecting a great fortune or you have to go on a, you know, to distant horizons on a journey to find it. And there could be somebody in bad health. And if that's the case, I'm sorry. I don't see the death card, so they'll probably recover and everything will be fine. Now, you got the 26 over here, so 6, 7, 8. And then you got 31, which is uh, 4. So those could be significant numbers. At the bottom of the deck, imprisonment. I mean, yeah, it's, I hope none of you are taking a journey to go to prison. And, I, and if you're taking a journey on a distant horizon to go see somebody in prison, please bring them something good to eat. Because I can tell you that they give the worst food in there. 29 could be significant. 9, 10, 11. This also could be mental imprisonment, spiritual imprisonment, you know... It doesn't have to be Rikers Island, right? Or Alcatraz. And I always think of the movie The Green Mile when I see this card lately. This poor little mouse is stuck in this prison. You know, uh, I feel more sorry for the mouse. I gotta be honest. <laughs> I gotta be honest. All right, so look. Let's get Hidden Truths next because that's what I did for everybody. So we're gonna do all the same for everybody. These are the Hidden Truths. So this is either something that you're thinking that, you know, you're hiding from somebody or somebody that's, somebody's got something on their mind that they're not telling you. One, two... Right, Holy Trinity is three. If you blow on it, you can knock them out. All right, give me the hidden truths for Sagittarius in your face, not hiding the cards. My God, you got. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Well, if it's somebody that you know, you know what? No matter what happened, no matter who it is, forgive them. Don't forgive them for them. Forgive them for yourself, so you can move on. All right, forgive them. And I'll say this again in case anybody only watches one sign around here. Deep, you know, this is this is Deepak Chopra dictates, and it's a fact. Everything in every universe, everywhere is predicated on energy. Energy vibrates on all different levels. So, you know, you could be vibrating up here like I'm a very high vibrator, or you could be a low vibrator. Whatever level of energy you're vibrating on, everybody's just doing the best they can, right? So, somebody didn't meet your expectations, just forgive them and, you know, keep it moving. Don't hold on to that because it's only going to hurt you, all right? Forgive them for yourself. Remember that. I mean, you came into this twice. You, 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 only, you got the temperance and the wheel of fortune in this reading here. Show me. Come on, give me. Give me. Okay. I can't be bending these cards. I mean, they're brand new. I want to tell you how I feel. Well, somebody wants to tell you how they feel or you want to tell somebody how you feel. You know, only you know what that is. And I'll tell you, if you got something on your mind and you want to say something to somebody sad, just do it because 
you know, tomorrow is promised to no one. Time is promised to no one. So, take, get it off your chest. I left you before you could leave me. I regret lying to you. I remember every day, detail of that day, and I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, wow. Well. I left when I saw you with somebody else. Well, that's not good. Now, we're going to get some love oracles, all right? I'll give you those. I'll give you a dragon thing, and then that's it. Now, don't forget, while I'm shuffling here, your thumb could be moving back and forth. Nobody's going to know. Your thumb won't even know what it's doing. Trust me. Trust me. Hit the like. Hit the dislike. Hit something. Be kind. All right? Be kind. It's nice. You get more flies with honey than vinegar, right? I should listen to my own advice the way I'm talking over here. But I, I, I'm a really, I'm a sweetheart. I just sound this way because I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I have a, you know, particular speech pattern. But I'm, I'm a cream puff. Believe me. Show me. Sorry, Delilah. <laughs> Poor little Delilah. Wait till I show you. And she keeps getting scared every time I do that. Show me one. Okay, we're not taking all those because they just dropped out the bottom of my hand. They didn't fly out. Give me some love oracles for Sagittarius, please. Ancestors. Let's let's help these the Sagges out. We love them. They're fellow fire signs, right? Show me. Okay, let's start with this one that came out. I'm always guided to show you the picture. This one says, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. This one is power. See the picture? Easy, though. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. That's right. Don't let anybody push you into anything. It doesn't feel right. Your solar plexus shots, where that's your intuition telling you. This one came out. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Yeah, well, that's a very good advice when you're sitting there in the Five of Cups and whatnot, right? Anything else? Show me. Ooh. Okay. That's a really pretty card. And it says, Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. This one looks like it came out, so we'll take it. That looks like Archangel Michael. I love this card. Okay? Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Well, what did I tell you a few minutes ago? Do what's best for you. Right? You can't please everybody. All right? At the bottom, well, this is kind of a mess. We're not going to read that one. Now, let's get you a Dragon Oracle. All right? There we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Sorry, Delilah. I keep forgetting you're over here shaking like a leaf because of the rain. Mommy, sorry. Two. Holy Trinity, three. Give us a dragon oracle. Spit some fire at our fellow fire sign, our Sagges. What do you got to say to them dragon oracles? We love our dragons on this channel. My nose is so itchy and I'm channeling like a, like what? Yeah. Okay, that's it. You got seven. Effort. Conquering your demons. Well, yeah, if you got the devil and they're your demons, conquer them. Or if you're carrying other people's burdens, conquer them and give it them back. But effort. Conquering your own demons. This is not conquering everybody else's, okay? At the bottom of the deck, and that's number seven. You got... Uh, what is that? I can't even see it. 23. It's enlightenment, so that's number five, and it's moving forward. Yeah, always move forward in the positive direction. Now, with that, I'd like to thank you for being here. If This is little Delilah with the no voice. She's supposed to be three pounds, but she's a garbone, and look how fat she is. She's shaking to death. Say hello to the people, Delilah. From, um, I call her Dilly Dilly, from the rainstorm outside. If you would like to make a donation or book a personal reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. Always remember to lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God because karma is real. And until next time, I love you, Sagittarius, and I wish you the best. Love and light.